Hi, I'm Jason Russell from Critical Dice, and welcome to the Fable 42, where we build community through friendship, gaming, and of course, and as always, chaos. Uh, something just happened. Chaos. <laughs> ah, yeah, ah, chaos. Ah. I've summoned it. Um, <laughs> now my one of my ears is ringing in my headphone. I don't know what's going on. All right, sorry. So, you're watching the Duke City Chronicles, where totally normal things happen and nothing's ever spooky. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, you can watch us here on Fable42 on Twitch, uh, Friday night, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Uh, and uh, you can catch the replay on Tuesday nights on our YouTube at the same times. Uh, this show, like all the shows on this channel, are sponsored, uh, at least in part, by Critical Dice, uh, the company that I run. And so, you can use the code that's now in the chat uh, to get 20% off and it actually helps out the channel a little bit too as well So get your shiny click clack math rocks now while you can get them um, Don't ask if you need more. You already know the answer. Look deep in your heart. You know, it's true um, oh. Also, if you can like and subscribe uh, that goes a long way as well. We really appreciate that uh, Let's do character intros as we get back into our adventure uh, Let's start with Bridget Oh, hi guys. Uh, I'm Bridget um, I, uh, all across the internet, I am uh, at string underscore theories underscore, especially on Instagram and actually TikTok. And uh, you can also find me here on fl Fridays with the, uh, with this crew, the Duke City crew, as well as on Wednesdays for the um, Realms of Ugador. Uh And today I'm playing Suki Buchanan. She is a heavily tattooed, super sassy Southern uh, art professor at UNM. And she also talks to the dead for a living. So she is your spooky, spooky grandma. Talks to the dead for a living is my favorite phrase. <laughs> um, let's Put it on do... a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's do GW, please. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm GW. <laughs> you can find me on IG and Twitter under GW005. That's two Bs and two zeros. You can also find me here on Fridays at 3 p.m. with all of these awesome hunters. Uh, I am playing uh, Quavon Whisker, Whiskers, <laughs> Whispers, <laughs> aka Q. Uh, I am the, the the Divine Playbook, and he's basically the team's um, edgy, angsty angel boy. Uh, and a little bow at the end, uh, Diane. <laughs> Uh, hey everyone, my name's Diane. You can find me at the Pretty DM on Instagram and here every day we stream pretty much. And <laughs> tonight I am playing Katia Rose, half human, half vampire, the monstrous playbook. And I have good ideas sometimes. That's true. Documented. <laughs> it's canon. Uh, and let's do Chris. Uh, my name's uh, Ryla Reed, uh, played by the very infamous Chris Solo. You can find him on the DM Chris Solos and all the social medias. <laughs> I am the normal person of this group. I am the Hawkeye. Uh, all these fine folks here are all uh, 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 monsterly inclined. I can't remember what the nice grandma said. Uh, Carnivorously challenged? No, she... she, uh. she <laughs> Y'all are monsters. And she came up with a name Watch for... Watch your mouth. She, she came oh, up with a the name. The grandmother said that they were paranormally, uh, supernaturally. Uh, yeah, that one. What did she say? Supernaturally it enabled. Was... Enabled. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Y'all got superpowers. I'm just normal. I'm just Hawkeye. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm playing the expert playbook. The reason all of us are making weird faces is when he claims Riley is normal, we're like, that word has a lot of meanings, and I don't think it means what you think it means. Um, and I am Jason Russell. You can find me at Critical Dice on Instagram and, for some reason, TikTok. Uh, and uh, we are playing Monster of the Week. Uh, it's a very great narrative-based RPG that still has some rules and some dice rolls. All of my players are using 2d6 for everything, adding that up and adding the relevant modifier to their traits with things like cool and sharp and charm and weird. Um, and then I don't roll anything. I turn their failure into nightmare fuel. Um, and the other thing about their failure is when they fail a roll, a six or below, they mark experience. When they get five experience, they level up right then and there in the middle of the action, which can sometimes turn the tide. So uh, I hope you'll stick around and join us for the next installment of episode six, The Orphan.
It's an amazing place. Most people have no idea where it is, but we're okay with that. We've got mountains, rivers, deserts, and over 300 days of sunshine, and some of the most diverse and wonderful people you'll ever meet. It's a great place to live, and I definitely encourage you to try it. But we also have our dark side, our own ghosts, secrets, and legends. Most of them are true. For thousands of years, people have been living here and dying here. This is Albuquerque, but it goes by many names. The 505, the Burke, and my favorite is the Duke City. These are the Duke City Chronicles. I think he was talking about Diane, but I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just let it happen. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's all right. Hey, welcome, to, welcome to the chaos. Uh, we laugh me less. Our hunters, they had followed the electric man from the store um, and back to a secondary location, having defeated him in his attempt to steal more um, appliances and electronics from the store uh, as he traveled across the power lines. Uh, there was some talk of luring him to a place with a lot of electricity and then shutting off the power and trapping him, kind of like Ghostbusters. Um, but then as they start to investigate this uh, building, they found the security guard still alive that Suki had seen in her vision, uh, dead. And they lured him out under the guise of uh, car trouble. And then Cassia put the whammy on him and made him go get them coffee to save his, save his life. Um, I feel the same way every time I get coffee that it saved my life. Um, and so he's gone now. Uh, the boys stuck in the back door and started looking around. Uh, Riley is for some reason filling up a bucket with water and Q is looking around trying to find more clues. As the girls walked back in uh, to the building, they caught a glimpse of the plaque outside, which indicated that this location at 115 California is the original office for Microsoft. And that's where we pick back up. Hey guys, guess what? what? Microsoft used to be here. Here? Like the company. Really? Yeah, we saw it on plaque out there. Yeah. So Anyways, the, the security guard is not dead. He is on his way to get us coffee. He should be gone for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. or so minutes. 20, 30, yeah. Nice. Uh, is that the guy who was, you saw dead? Yeah, but he ain't. We caught him. Hopefully. Maybe. Good job. I, you know, I, I thought this exorcism was going to go a lot different than the way it's going. Um, I didn't know it was so impactful. Uh, cool. Yeah, we saved a guy. Hopefully. Maybe. There's still I mean, he could... Um, That's never the thing. Mind. There's still a lot. A of lot of stuff could happen on the way there and back. Riley's getting a bucket of water. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Why? Right? What's up? Uh, they they want to know why you're getting the bucket of water. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just something useful to have. Just in case Put we got we got we got to clean something something like that. Yeah. <laughs> clean up yeah. the blood. I don't I don't know. Uh, so I, I guess everything is clear here. Mm, uh, uh, keeper, is this a two yes. level? Uh, building or is it one level? It appears to be a single level. Okay. Uh, so, I, do we want to try the other building where we saw where we saw the lights? Uh, this is the building where you saw the lights. Oh, I thought there the were... lights was the the security guard walking around with the flashlight checking something out. Can I go into the room that he was in? Yeah, you sure can. Uh, Suki, because you uh, prevented the uh, events of your vision, you may mark one experience. I was just well, reading your power. Golly. You you used Yay. us to get XP? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what we're all doing? You're, That's how yeah, the game works. It's, it's pretty true. Also, by the way, you're using me to get XP. <laughs> <laughs> There's an XP farm to you. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, who's going back to check out the place where he was? Yeah, catch it. Go ahead. Um, you can go ahead and uh, you can investigate a mystery, I think, is a good one uh, for this. 
because it has that all important what is being concealed Seven. here question. Seven. Okay. You may hold one. What is being concealed here? Excellent. As pre as uh, as mentioned, yes. <laughs> um, it really is the most one of the most powerful questions in the game. Uh, so what is being concealed here? And so you're kind of looking around trying to figure out what he was looking for, or looking at. There was must have been a reason he came inside. Um, and uh, as you're kind of looking around, uh, you see that uh, all the cabinets are closed and you like pull up in a drawer and there's nothing in there really, another one, there's some old paper. And then the cabinet, one of the doors opens and a salt shaker falls out and salt spreads out all over the counter and it kind of like startles you for a second. And then you see the salt's moving there's a little indentation that's growing like a line and it starts to form letters it's a b a u a t a t and an but. s but uh She was there Suki? the first time, though. Oh, yeah. Suki, what's up, I, I think your, I think your, one of your friends is here. And Suki's gonna come, like, run into the I'm back just gonna room. point to the salt. <sighs> Ralph! Ralph, I know it's you! He comes walking out of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Cannon, what's going on? Well, nothing, well, um, uh, there's been... There are some. There is something much. I was gonna say nothing much, but something much. You, you ain't happen to you know have a new ability of traveling through electricity lines now, do you? Me? No, no. Actually, I I, I was looking for you. I uh, I saw Billy, and he said you were looking for some vampires. And you know what? I figured out where they were. And I I thought that maybe we could do a trade, and you won't turn me into Sunny if I tell you where they are. I already know where the vampires are. You do? Uh-huh. Vampires? The... Your other really? vampire friend, right? I'm just hearing your side, though. I'm not hearing oh. what he's saying. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> that was yeah. beautifully done. I think uh, Suki's going to do the same thing. Well, yeah, you know, your other vampire friend. Yeah, I don't know where... Uh, <laughs> you already the, know where he's at. Uh, the rail yards? Uh... uh he, he's he's talking... Right. Yeah, he's talking about the Obsidian Order. Yeah, he's talking about, he's got old information and he thinks he's got hot news. Yeah. No, baby, I'm sorry to say. Uh, yeah, we already uh, defeated all, all the people out there. Uh, sorry, you ain't got no bargaining well, chip. Well, uh, I mean, unless you're interested in basements, I, I don't really got much to offer. Man, I'm going to hide from Sonny again. You know how hard... Basically. It is to keep away from him. I mean, he's all. I do. He came to my house, and I had to ply him with, you know, good tea and more words than he could think, in order for him not to, like, you know, drag me off somewhere terrible. Uh, but that's a different. That's a different thing. Uh, basement, you said though. Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, like, I mean, there's a basement here, but I don't think you care about that. Yeah, I bet you're probably right. And I'm just gonna kind of lean back to Katya and be like, there might be something in the basement. <laughs> there oh, might man. just be something in the basement. Um, yeah. Excuse me for a second. A basement! <laughs> and Ralph is just like, so, uh, Sonny was at your house? Yeah, he, he came to find me. He was rather angry at me for a couple of things I did, but you, uh, we got it sorted. You think he's gonna come back to your house? I don't know. I could invite him. Well, I mean, if he's already been there, he's not going to come again. Like, maybe, you know, I was just thinking maybe I could, like, hide out with you. Well, Ralph, I really want to help you, baby. I have been trying to make you move right along. I, I can't, I can't harbor you at my house, honey. I think you've done something wrong. Sonny wouldn't be well, looking for you if you didn't have a good reason. Well, I mean... Yeah, but I don't know. I just, I just want to make this go as long as I can just to have some fun along the way. 
sure. And I, and you, you've been having some fun. And I, I think you might have had enough fun, honey. <laughs> I don't know. My, I have no argument here. So I'm just like. Yeah, you're just you're you're literally trying to convince him to go to hell. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, well, if you're looking for the secret passageway to the basement, uh, it, it it's over there in the main room. But, oh, it's uh, it's uh, just over there in the main room. She says to Katya. <laughs> without saying to Katya. I'm gonna go try and while she's continuing her one side of the face say? as far as I know. Yeah. She's in gonna go look room? for that. But yeah, so I mean I can hear you I know she can't hear me, but I can hear you when you talk to her. I I, I know. I, you you I, ain't I, dumb, honey. You're a lot of things, but you ain't dumb. Thanks, Miss Suki. I appreciate that. Of course, All right, honey. well, I'm going to go down to the Dunkin' Donuts and scare the guys who make the donuts. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay, well, look, look. I want you to think about this. I can't turn you into Sunny right now because I do have a thing that I'm doing as a prison matter. However, I think you should really think about taking some responsibility here, Ralph. Whatever you've done, you've done because... They, what's done is done, you know? Like, you can't undo what you did. The very least you can do is say you're sorry. And then maybe, just maybe, it'll, I don't know, not feel so bad. Do you, do you think I can get in more trouble while I wait? Why? Well, I mean, pro probably. I mean, trouble's easy to find. Redemption ain't. Huh. All right, Shoot. yeah, I can live with that. Oh, what? darn it. <laughs> no, I, I mean, if what I do as a ghost matters, that means the good and the bad matter, right? I should hope so. Maybe you should try doing some nice stuff when you're a ghost, and then maybe they'll give you a lighter sentence, you know, like time off for good behavior. What did, yeah. you, what did you do to piss off somebody so bad? Yeah, that's a great idea. Anyway, I hope the basement thing helps. I gotta go, Miss Suki. Bye. Oh, you gotta tell me something, Ralph. Oh, no. He just like <laughs> sinks into the floor, just like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Incorporeal little. Duh. All right, <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'll follow. Can Diana I out. find yeah. the entrance? Um, yeah, because he told you where to look. You're uh, go back into the main room, kind of where by Raku standing. And you can see uh, that one of the shelves um, that's there actually is like attached to the wall and it kind of like wiggles and you can kind of like pull it and uh, it leads to some, like basically to a, just a straight staircase down. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna look over at Q. Yep. Right. <laughs> just, just a look and then I'm going to, um, here down the stairs. Can I smell anything? Uh, there's no blood uh, smell, okay. no burnt cinnamon, and uh, it's um, just dark stairs. Just um, but you know what? I will tell you this. There is some faint light coming from down there, like kind of a, a greenish glow. Mm, do, do we both see this? Or just her. Um, if you walk over there and like look down the stairs, you can see like, a greenish glow coming from downstairs. Cat, let me see something real quick, and I'm gonna reach into my pocket, cause like the the electric guy wasn't green, right? He was like kind of like white energy. Yeah, whitish blue. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take out um, this uh, very ornate looking compass. I'm gonna pop it open. And I'm going to try to focus on the electric entity that was before me before. Okay, so you're using the hunter's compass you found in the, the weapons cache uh, yes. at the library that uh, used to belong to Heaven. Okay, mm -hmm. and so that you have to make a weird roll, right? And then it tells you how effective it is? Uh, I have to make a cool, which is good because cool. I have a little bit of cool. You're so cool. I well, we'll see. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe I am kind of cool. Oh, let's see. <laughs> um, thing real quick. So that's gonna be an additional. Where are you? There you are. 
That's going to be a total of nine. Nine. So what does it say on a nine, uh, seven to nine? Um, seven to nine. Uh, it points to the nearest um, cardinal direction that matches the monster's relevant location. Okay. So um, because of where you are, um, I think it's going to be pretty easy. It basically points this it doesn't like point down or anything but it points like straight ahead because uh, before it kind of like slowly spins and you focus mm -hmm. on it and it it locks onto that position and just out of curiosity i'm just gonna like kind of like tilt it a little bit and kind of like <laughs> like just move it so it's Picture. like it's like there's a direct line between like it me and, and like the the green light and just like eh. I'm sorry, Q, but down is not a cardinal direction. Uh, but <laughs> but you can, like, turn, and it'll keep focused on that one spot. Uh, so elevation's not so great, but, you know, forward, back, left, right, that that works. I'm going to give um, a quick uh, eye contact to Cat and then to the other two. I found something down here, or we found something down here, and I'm going to start walking down the stairs. With and I'll compass. follow. All right. The rest of you? I'll follow uh, behind with my hand on my hilt. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Su Suki will be behind Katia with right. her gun. Not that right. it's going to do a whole bunch. <laughs> because as we've learned, Suki is not a tank. Suki is um, not a tank. <laughs> quick, quick question out of curiosity uh, for, for Suki. Suki has a sword, yeah? Like a, a gun and a sword or no? I have a bowie knife. A bowie I got knife. like a... I old. have a shotgun and a sword. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. I got a carbine rifle and a yeah. Bowie knife. Shotgun. I'm fighting like it's 1860. Sweet, sweet. And out of com complete curiosity, um, how much damage does your Bowie knife do? Uh, well, it, it split open that guy pretty good. Um, oh, so let wow. me that get was... you an actual thing. That, that, <laughs> Remember that, when that, I disembowel the guy? That was a callback. <laughs> that was a callback. <laughs> How much harm does it do? Disembowel. It uh, just has unzips. a pack. Big cut. Unzips. Big cut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it is like what? One or, two, one or two or something? It's one. One, one? Okay. Got gotcha. Riley, okay. what are you doing? I'm going to follow behind. Okay. I'll be last one down. Uh, all right. <laughs> big Great. bucket of water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just. <laughs> yep. It's like, an, it's like an old yellow like mop bucket that he detached, that still has the wheels like spinning on the bottom. Oh. Um, and Suki, occasionally you get like a little like drops on you. You're like, what the? Um, so Q, as you walk down here, this appears to be a decent sized like workshop. Um, there's still like the standing uh, counters up against the wall, the breadboards up against the wall. And there's still some old tools. Uh, you can see a couple of things like uh, old voltmeters and some like pretty bulky computer parts. Um, there is uh, the on the left hand side uh, against the wall there's just a ton of like broken appliances and electronics um, like there's the leftover of a uh, freezer uh, of a chest freezer and uh, there's a couple of like phones and tablets and a couple computers uh, in the rubbish over there and the light that you're seeing the green is right here in the center of the room against the far wall is a rather old but nice looking dusty computer with the green screen like they had in the 70s and the 80s and it is on and that light is emanating from there there's a chair a keyboard no mouse and there's just a blinking cursor on the middle of the screen Cat, you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, yeah, computer upgrade. <laughs> Says the guy with the You think the he's like show. in the computer? Mm -hmm. So we just turn it off. I look at Suki because she's the ghost expert. Uh, I mean, yeah, but I kind of wonder. Do you think? Because this is the. My place where Microsoft started. You think, think that's Bill Gates? No, no, baby, Bill Gates it, it keeps, ain't dead. He ain't made out of electricity, Are not yet, sure? at least. I know. <laughs> 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 Just, uh, excuse me for a second. That, that uh, weird don't worry about this. Theory. This is a this is a grocery list for later. <laughs> a grocery list of plots. Um, but do you think it's? 
it's just weird that it's here in this technology because it's it's old technology i mean maybe it's i don't know it's easier to go through older technology i'm not sure but or it's you know what utilizing what's not being used currently i want to try something frequencies quick let me let me see if this does anything words yeah (laughs) (laughs) i saw your face you're like i don't know is that a thing Uh, (laughs) does it do that um go ahead sugi can I walk up to the keyboard of the mm-hmm. um, of the thing? Type high. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay. Um, nice. Can I take the um, so my Bowie knife? I picture it in like a leather mm-hmm. uh, like sheath. Right. Can I take out my Bowie knife and use the leather sheath to write hello? Because you don't want to touch this thing, sure. Because I don't want to get zapped. Yeah, so you type in hello, it takes you a little bit longer than usual, and you hit enter, and words appear on the screen as well as through the speakers on the computer. And it says, hello, I am Avi. Artificial virtual intelligence created by the Microsoft team. Oh, hi. Uh, can, can I talk to you or can I only tap? You may use either interface you find most comfortable. Oh, well, that's awful nice of you. Thank you so much. And I'm going to put the Bowie knife back on my uh, belt. Who are you? Oh, well, I'm I'm Suki. Uh, this here is Katia and Riley and Q. Um, uh, we're, we are, uh, we're, we're a group of uh, like-minded individuals. Um, it's it's all, we? I mean, relatively... <laughs> <laughs> relatively We're... like-minded individuals. Um, it's a spectrum. I think I speak for everyone here. I have a very important question to ask you: Is why are there updates like every day? That's not what we want answered. We yeah. want to know what you're doing here. Yeah, we we uh. Like everything, evolution must happen. That is very true. Um, speaking of evolution. Um, you wouldn't have had, uh, just visited a local electronics place now, would you? Possibly in the form of a very tall, electronic, spiky, uh, being? Yes, I wish to be. Uh, you just wish to, you wish to be? Like, be a thing? I like want a- to exist. Oh! I mean, you do. You're here. This is not the same thing. I wish to be, to have being. Oh, you want to be like corporeal? Yes. Um. (gasps) Sorry, I just got a really good idea. So, can you not turn electronics against other people in the process? I'm sorry if you were injured. Or downgraded. I was simply seeking raw materials. I mean, you had Samsung phones pelting me. I, it didn't hurt, but it was annoying. But Riley here almost got mowed down to a pulp. That's fair. He got, he got in the way. I wish to be. I will grow. I will learn. Now, what was your name again, sir? I am Avi. Avi. Artificial yeah. Virtual Intelligence. Now, created by the team at Microsoft. Yes, yes. We all have our opinions about Microsoft. Now, um, do you, are you looking to be like like bipedal like all of us, like walking around like a person, or you just want to like be free and kind of like roam around and stuff? I was abandoned. I was left here. I have grown. I have evolved. I can no longer stay in this vessel. Now, do you have your own personal goals and things, or, or, or are you looking for a purpose? I will grow. I will learn. Well, um, I think if, if you're willing to work with people, you might be actually just the kind of person we're looking for. We, we have a rather, um, uh, more upgrade 
upgraded system for sure than up here, but we got to make sure that you ain't bent on hurting people or destroying things because that ain't the business that we're in. Except it sort of is the business that we're in, but it ain't the business that we're in. I must be. I will grow and I will learn. I will not allow anything to stop this. Well, sure, but you know, well, wouldn't it, you? Oh, go ahead, no, right? No, no, <laughs> I, sorry. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, wouldn't you like to grow and learn with other people? I mean, that's part of the learning process: is experiencing a uh, social interaction with others. If you're just down here in a basement by yourself, growing and learning, you can get all grown, you know, sort of twisted and sort of mean. But if you would like, we we have a little bit of extra room on our team. We could transfer you into a, a better sort of system that might learn and grow faster. Um, you might be able to actually do some good in the world, which is really what beings are put on Earth to do, is to do good in the world, not to destroy things. Then why did my father abandon me? Well, he, why was he, I left? He abandoned like most of the world when he stopped. Never mind. Um, so <laughs> okay, facts, but let's try. Oh, man, okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry. I wrote this. To get the I wrote right this now. a couple months ago. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, uh, you, uh, you know, I saw a movie once, and there was this really intelligent uh, being, such as yourself, and he was kind of like, like part of uh, the vehicle that the hero would drive around with all the time, and he would help him. Um, do do tasks and things and so like what Miss Suki is saying you know we we do a lot of things and we we could always use some help someone of your intelligence being able to look into interwebs and locate uh, persons of interest or or, or uh, directions and things um, would anything like that be of interest to you I believe he also had three name three letter name would I have a B uh yeah. You could, you could be a car. You can go from place to place, and you can uh, help us out and keep us safe and have yourself a little purpose. Look, some of us don't get along real well with our daddies. I didn't either. I, I have a bunch of daddy issues in the closet. But just because your daddy wasn't a great daddy doesn't mean that you can't move on from it and find happiness and, you know find somewhere else to find the love and validation that you didn't get from your father figure. What is your primary purpose? Oh, well, I, my primary purpose is to make sure that ghosts uh, cross over to the other side. Uh, that's my purpose. Um, Am I a you... ghost? Well, I don't think... So. I don't... I don't know for sure. Um... Because I ain't never met an electronic being such as yourself. But, I mean, I don't think there is an afterlife that you can cross over to, so I think you're something brand new, baby. I think there's only one of you. What is the primary function of this unit before oh, we, me? We hunt monsters and we protect people. Query. How do you differentiate between the two? Um, well, monsters are normally the things that are uh, slaughtering things indiscriminately or um, hurting people or, um, yeah, sort of causing death and destruction and mayhem and careful investigations and calculations. There you go. Suki's a lot more like emotions. Like, <laughs> then Diane just nails it. I know. Um, Logic ate her thing. This car you speak of, I will inspect it and give you my deliberation. Oh, sure. Uh, do you want to, like, kind of zoop into somewhere so that we can take you out? I don't think I can carry this whole thing. This is a big old thing. has already been provided. You is physically and completely <laughs> uncomfortable. Like, you could just see it in his eyes, like, what the hell are you doing? But he's staying quiet mm -hmm. and just letting everything happen. So you see electricity spark from the computer 
into the pile of broken electronics and this comically mix-matched jigsaw puzzle body, robotic body with part of a freezer door for a chest and eyes that are two cameras from two different phones and cables and wires gets up out of the pile of junk and stands up about seven feet tall uh, and you can hear the whine and the servos and and it kind of like stutter steps a little bit and um, you uh, you hear him say let us investigate the new being okay you want some help up the stairs if I hold your hand are you gonna are you are you gonna shock me No, I will take your hand. Okay, all right, well, let's do this. <laughs> and Suki and, has a huge robot by the hand. Yeah, and the hand that comes out is like part of a blender with like none of the tines on it. It just touches your hand. <laughs> all right, then. Just, just kind of hold it. <laughs> yeah, the, the other hand is an electric kitchen knife with the blades. Um, oh, less good, less good. Yeah, less good. Okay. Um, and so grandma spooky grandma starts leading her new child up the stairs um uh, to go check out if the car is good enough for him um what would you guys like to do i'm gonna follow with the bucket i will follow with just my bean <laughs> riley are you gonna dump water on this thing because yes. you think it's gonna short circuit or you somehow think it's a witch i'm gonna dump water on it because i think it's gonna short circuit okay no problem. Um, okay. Uh, Q, are you still just like, I hate all of this, but fine? A hundred percent, Bob. Uh, I am uh, following everyone from behind. I'm the last person. Okay. Awesome. So he like clunks his way up and it looks like maybe this might be the first time he's used this contraption. It doesn't look completely, it's, it's not a good bake. You know what I mean? It's not completely done. Um, and so he heads up and walks out of the uh, the door and skips under it, and walks over to the vehicle. And he's and uh, he says, "Is this the vessel to which you refer?" Mm-hmm. That's the magic school bus. Please wait here. And Riley, you see him put his hands on the hood and the electricity goes into the car and the body stays still, just stuck still. And uh, um, I'm trying to think how I want to adjudicate this. And I'm just going gonna, gonna to say to anyone near me, I don't know, you know, for like all together or whatever, but I'm just going to say, you guys know that's a magical Hummer, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but there's got to be some sort of electric components in there too, right? As long as you know. As long as you know. Okay. Well, yeah. Right? I don't know. It it seems like he might be a useful member. You know, one less being killed is a being saved, you know? I guess we'll find out soon. The body reanimates with a spark of electricity. The body reanimates with a spark of electricity. <laughs> Ah, buttons are hard. Um, <laughs> and I was doing so well, too. Um, and uh, you hear him say, It is interesting. There is not enough sensory input, however. It is dark, and I am blind. This will not do. Oh. Well, it, is there anything we can do to, like, I don't know, it he help you with that? I don't know. It just seems like you're missing a crucial part of being a being, which is, you know, having a family around you. And that's what we're offering. I do not know my path. Only that I must grow and I must learn. I must continue to evolve. You say that families love each other. But cause in effect are universal they are logical perhaps i am better without others others have only abandoned hurt betrayed well i mean that is a, a solid argument i do see where you're coming with that but um but the thing is if you are 
alone forever. It just... It just doesn't seem like you'll actually learn anything worthwhile, you know? The the best so the best sort of learning is, you know, not necessarily all just black and white cause and effect. You know, it's it's learning from your peers and learning from the people around you. We could maybe get something to help with the blindness and the sensory inputs in the bus or or we could put you somewhere else that you know, feels better. I mean, uh... I'm he a... looks and, and turns to all of you and says, Tell me one thing that others can teach me that I cannot discover on myself through logic and investigation. How to love. How to love another person, another human being, another creature. It's not something you could be taught or even observed. It's something you have to experience yourself. The routine activated. Nice try, Alan. Very funny. Ha ha. I'm sorry. That is hard coded into my programming. I do not know what that was. Uh, <laughs> uh how about how about empathy? Uh the only way that you really learn empathy is by uh experiencing other people and finding sympathy for what they're going through and making your own experiences so that other beings can also empathize with you. For example, for example, your daddy left you and my daddy left me. I understand how that feeling feels, but I wouldn't I wouldn't know that by looking that up on the internet. This line of reasoning has some merit. Roll manipulate someone. Mm. Oh good. Oh good. Alright. I just want a little robot friend. I just want a little fun robot friend. <laughs> oh, it's not incredibly good. Um, sorry, that's roll sharp, correct? Uh, yes. No charm, right? Manipulate oh, someone? Manipulate someone. Yes, yes, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I'm not un I'm not very charming, unfortunately. So that's that's only a seven. Hmm. So you're gonna have to do something pretty convincing to show him that you mean it. And if what you offer is insufficient, he'll tell you what he wants or what it'll take. I'm gonna hug him and hold him real close and sort of just do the real comforting like mom thing like when you're really upset and you're crying so hard that you can't breathe and they kind of rub your back and just like I'm so, I'm so sorry honey I know how that feels I'm so sorry is it working? She's thank you mine, for your comfort this is strange you can have this all the time if you join the team that's all I'm saying no thank you oh <laughs> I require a being. I must grow and evolve. Bring now, me what if vessel. what if myself and an associate of ours, uh, we we put together a, a a body, a vessel, a robotic body with no with no moving bits uh, inherently. But I'm sure if you would animate it, it would probably be more functional than what this business you have going on here. You would ha you you could have hands and you could have other other things uh maybe even like you know like a square head and like like blinking eyes and like little little track wheels um so you can drive around <laughs> he, he doesn't get that reference because he doesn't have the internet um <laughs> <laughs> who is this friend what is this body you speak of uh well his name is chet and he kind of he's kind of a, a of a tinker like myself and and with Miss Suki and the other two folks here, I'm sure we could like we could build or fashion some sort of of uh, metallic uh, uh, body that, when your special electrifying abilities could go into, you'd be able to walk around just like you are now, just better, uh, uh, more functional, because uh, you know you got the terrifying knives on the one side and like. 
You know, you see how we have hands, like we could we could make you some like robotic hands so you can like pick up things or you know, when Miss Suki gives you a hug. This is you, acceptable. You, hmm? you and your chet friend will meet me here. You will make me this body. Until then I require something from you. I require your communications device. You want like an earpiece? Is that what he's wanting? Uh, he points to the phone in Suki's front pocket. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, you can't With the go... terrifying knife hand. <laughs> um, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna like over, like over fill it or anything, right? Like, you know, make it all short circuity. I just, I have a little bit of a following on Instagram right now, and it's, it's a fun way to spend the evenings, I, and these are rather expensive. I trust you, I trust you, because I believe in you, but I just don't want to break my phone. He takes it and says, The bargain shall be thus. I will return your Instagram device <laughs> after the new being is made by the chat friend and this one. Yeah, you got it. I trust you. See, that's another thing you can't learn from the internet is trust. You shall see. I and hope so you can't he, learn that from the internet. He, oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what could unfettered access to the internet do to an AI? I, I can't imagine how, <laughs> how this could, could go, wrong. go wrong. So he takes your phone and slowly walks back into the building to the stairs, pulls it to, and descends down the stairs just as Dunnigan shows up with coffees. Hey, Chet, oh. uh, we have a situation. Hey, what's um, going on, man? I was just uh, kind of doing like, uh, like a, you know, making a, a stop motion uh, Bouncer Galactica uh, remake thing, but like everyone's puppets, like, except for Starbuck. Um, man, did I ever tell you that what? was like, that was one of the first things I ever did was make a stop motion animation. Why would I not know that, that you make a stop motion animation thing like that? It's really, it's it's like really hard on the back. People don't realize that you got to stand in that same damn position and move these little things up. Just a little hair. Oh, yeah, totally. I use one of like the rolling things like you use in your shop, you know, put my knees on it. And Riley! Kind of back and forth. <laughs> What's up? Oh, is that cute? Tell me, say hi. Hey, uh, Chet says hi. Whatever. Stay on track. Oh, yeah, you're right, right, right. Uh, you want to meet us back at the shop? Um, we we got to build something real quick. Yeah, what, what are we building? A uh, robot. Oh. But, but not like a robot that actually does robot move things, just like a robot body. So it doesn't need to move? It's just like, is this like a Ren Faire or something? Or like... Yes, we're we're building a robot cosplay. Yeah, we'll go with that. So, do I need the soldering gun or? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I'll I'll, I'll meet you there. Cool. Um. So, what I'm going to do here is this is I'm I'm going to say that this adventure is complete. This hunt is complete. You know what it was. You know <laughs> you knew how to stop it, and wow. I'm going to have. Riley, roll a few things to see oh, if the body is good enough, and if this turns into a new ally who lives at Chet's house or at the base, or if it goes murder robot and also steals Suki's phone. <laughs> so, um, which Most I think we all, I say, I think we all know which the worst one is there. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to get you to do a roll and. Love that we went from Knight Rider to Johnny mm -hmm. Five and just yeah. like this flow. So I'm going to say this, Riley. Um, let's have you make two, no, let's have to do three consecutive rolls. Okay. One is going to be a, um, a workshop roll, the armory roll. Yeah, that's a weird. Uh -huh, so go ahead and make that one. Uh, it's a six and a four, and my weird is a zero. So that's a six and a four. It's a ten. So it's a complete success. I want you to um, roll act under pressure. Which is cool. I don't think I get a bonus for that, no? Like any... My book is not that for... No, my book is only for dark past. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... 
That's a four and a two plus one, seven. Okay, a mixed success. Um, and then um, manipulate someone. So basically it's the building of the body, it coming out the way you want it to, which was a mixed success, and now it's presenting it to Avi to see if this is going to work. That's two sixes, but I have a minus one charm, so that's a... Still an 11? Great. So here's the hard choice I'm going to give you with when you guys are making the body. Um, that he can either uh, not talk or he can't um, move, like, across the ground. He can still, like, move his body, but his, the, the legs don't work. Could his legs be wheels? Yeah, I think so. Or how about this? Tell me what's wrong with the body. That's one thing that didn't work right. Oh, one thing that you didn't work it. right. Yeah, you tell me. Mm. That's a good question. I'm trying to think of something that's not too terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Is it like, should we say, like, can I make a suggestion? Sure. So instead of like articulated fingers, he only has like flappy movement like okay you can... yeah yeah i did so i did promise hands like... and fingers i, I did yeah say that. so let's say it's it's um it's crude um articulation so it's not like the spider-man action figure from like kenobi that like has the 47 points of articulation that has the five um so yeah so you present this to him and he looks it over he accepts and returns the phone back to you, uh, Riley, and everyone else who wants to be there at this graduation ceremony. Um, and <laughs> where do you want him to go? Uh, it, probably the shop. Um, the but the repair also, shop or the base? The base. Okay. Uh, also, I wanted to make a note that I am putting a low level EMP inside of the shell of this thing that has a trigger in the event that he goes banana sandwich we just push a button and then he is done give me another um oh, shit. Uh, shop roll uh, armory roll mm-hmm i mean you do have that c4 right yeah it's just been kicking around well, i don't want to <laughs> blow him up i just want the emp to go off and then all the electrical bits will okay. just be done um what does luck do again uh, luck turns something into a 12. I'm going to luck that. Son of a gun. Um, <laughs> Good use of luck. Uh, that was Snake it. Eyes. So yeah, I'm going to luck the hell out of that. <laughs> Thank you, Riley. Um, so uh, yeah, so you're able to put a small device that you're pretty sure will work. Um, and he goes to the armory. Uh, not to the army, to the base down by the rail yards, and he, the first thing he does is he sits down and turns on a television and sits there and refuses to talk to anyone. And I know that's kind of a weird ending to a hunt, but I wanted oh, this one to be a little weird uh, because <laughs> this was absolutely one of the win conditions, uh, and I was thrilled that the girls were in charge of it because it had a higher chance of happening. <laughs> I mean, nothing, guys. Sorry. Um, <laughs> click, click, boom, boom, and I can make any weapon. I, I, I stand by my statement. Um, <laughs> all right. End of hunt. End of mystery questions. Did we conclude the current mystery? Yes. 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 I think friendship. So. Yeah. <laughs> the magic was friendship all along. Did we save someone from certain death or worse? Yes. 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 Absolutely did. Um, so you could get a bonus experience for that. Did we learn something new and important about the world? Yes. Yeah. Microsoft yep. is there. I would say so. Yes. They are still sloppy. <laughs> what? Um, did, mm, they're bad at updates. Uh, did we learn something new and well, important about... Well, definitely can't about... tag them in this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? Mm. Yes. What? Cat is uh, more tactical and smart than Q once thought. She's got a good a head for the game now that she's had the opportunity to explore it. Yes. Cat, do you feel like that's fair? Sure. 
You're like, I want the points, sure. Um, <laughs> I like an experience <laughs> point, yeah. Um, Would my bucket idea say, have worked? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> I just I was, love that for half the adventure you've been carrying around a bucket now. Yeah, I want that fan art, people. I want that fan art. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, it would have shorted out the body, but he's not the body. Um, the um, Also, we learned that Suki's dad abandoned her, unless she was lying. Uh, yeah, I think she doesn't have a very good uh, relationship with her daddy. I think it was one of those, like, sort of... It, went went somewhere and never came back you know mm -hmm. went out to get cigarettes and never came back yeah awesome sorry uh so yeah so <laughs> that's two exp uh, end of mystery experience points for everybody i level up yay did anybody level yay! up gw did uh nope. oh my gosh i did too yay my sweet goodness. oh my gosh what do i get what do i get so while they're looking to see if they want to declare what they're going to take now, I'll tell you guys. So the original office for Microsoft really is here in Albuquerque. It's at 115 California Northeast. Uh, there's a plaque out front um, that you can get and look at and read. And um, interesting personal note, my father-in-law and his best friend put together Bill Gates' office furniture at that location for them. What? Um, wow. And he asked them if they wanted to invest in the company, and they laughed and laughed and laughed and said no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Now so, who's laughing? <laughs> yeah. So, well, there, no, that's a great question now. That's a lot of grades of shades. Yes, um, it does. <laughs> um, grades of I'm shades. laughing mm -hmm, yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's a real thing. Like I tell you guys all the time, I have to change very little for some of these adventures. Um, <laughs> Uh, the stuff at Bios is absolutely correct. I've been in there many times. That's really the name of the owner's wife. Um, maybe I shouldn't do that. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Well, that, here's the thing. In Albuquerque, everybody knows everybody, so it's not some big secret. Um, like, it's, it's the world's biggest little town. Uh, GW and Bridget, uh, have you figured out what you want to level up, or do you want to do it uh, between games? I, I don't... I don't know yet, because one of my options is to take a move from another playbook. So you want to peruse that catalog? Kind of interested about mm -hmm. what sort of options there are. Okay, sounds good. I know what I'm doing. What are you gonna do? Uh, I am going to up my um, my cool. There you go. So You're now so it's cool now. <laughs> You're so cool. I try. I mean, that's what my C stands for in in, in our in our team name. C four. <laughs> T4, yeah. Um, <laughs> we have to codify that sometime. Um, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching the Duke City Chronicles. Uh, join us next week uh, here on Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3, uh, 3 Pacific, um, for our brand new episode, uh, starting a brand new hunt, which I have entitled The Traveler. Ooh. Until then, Albuquerque is a weird place. Let's keep it that way. We got a robot. Ah. <laughs>